Good afternoon, everybody. Came up with an idea for a new video based on something that I was trying to solve for myself. No surprise, that's kind of what my videos are about. But in this case, I took you through, I, I created a couple videos on how to enable IM wheel for scroll wheel speed adjustment, and then also live input gestures for touchpad enabling swipe gestures. And those are great. They don't always work well together. Actually, they don't work well together at all. Uh, and what happens is if you're running IM wheel, which uh, I am doing because I have a mouse hooked in right now. So if I were to check and see, am I running IM wheel? There it is. Okay. So great. IM wheel is running. My mouse wheel is, is running fine. Uh, the problem is if I disconnect my mouse, now, disconnecting the mouse, the trackpad will automatically, or touchpad will automatically enable itself because I have that setting set under uh, system settings. So system settings, input devices, touchpad, enable, disable, uh, and disable touchpad uh, when mouse is plugged in. So it's a toggle. If I plug a mouse in, it disables it. If I unplug it, it, it re-enables it. The problem is it leaves IM wheel running and IM wheel applies to both the mouse wheel and the two finger touch scrolling on your touchpad. The problem with that is then every time you unplug it, you have to remember to come in and say, kill all IM wheel, which I showed in the video that I had done. So that's a bit of a headache and it's just kind of annoying to have to do every single time. Is it the end of the world? No, but hey, this is, you know, these are computers. Let's see if we can do it better. The other side of this is if I am running live input gestures while I have the mouse plugged in. Now, plugging the mouse in does disable the touchpad and you can't see me, but I'm furiously swiping around the touchpad and the, the pointer is not moving. However, if I were to use one of those three finger gestures that I have configured in live in live input gestures, it will still register that. And it's kind of annoying because you don't mean to do it sometimes. Like let's just say I was wiping off my laptop or something like that. All of a sudden I'm wondering well, why is it registering inputs whenever it's supposed to be disabled? Well, live input gestures is still running in the background. So that's what's happening. So in order to have both live input gestures running when the touchpad is enabled and I am will running when the mouse is enabled, I created a little bash script that can be run and triggered when the action of either plugging the mouse in or unplugging the mouse and having the touchpad enabled or disabled. Take a look here. This is a really simple script and it's probably a little overbuilt uh, just because I'm, I was teaching myself some, some bash scripting things. And so what I did here was wanted to make sure that the argument wasn't blank because if you're not passing a parameter to this, then it's useless and it doesn't do anything. So if it's not blank, then it comes down and it checks to see, okay, if, if I'm passing something, I'm only expecting two values and it's either going to be touchpad or mouse. And if it's not one of those, then it's also an error. So if you run it without either either blank or without touchpad or mouse, you'll get an error that basically says must specify touchpad or mouse argument. Great. Probably don't need that if, if you're setting this up yourself, but hey, you know, why not? And so the real meat of this here is the touchpad toggle and touchpad and mouse toggle. So if the argument passed is touchpad, then it will kill IM wheel and it will enable live input gestures. And then if it's its mouse, it will start IM wheel and then disable or stop live input gestures. Okay, so great. We've got the script that'll toggle the commands, you know, turn things on, turn things off, whatever. Okay, where do we hook this in? And so this is where maybe this isn't the best solution in the world, but I'm using KDE and I figure, well, there's got to be some way in KDE with all the options and settings that everyone kind of makes a joke about, but there has to be a way to hook this in somewhere, right? The reason I say this might not be the best approach as I show you this is I think UDEV or there are other ways to capture hardware events that you can script and and have things uh, launching commands and things like that. So that's my next step is to take this to where I can do this on any desktop. But for right now, my solution works on uh, KDE Plasma. And so if you're not running that, look out for the next video that I make or video I make in the future about UDEV. And maybe UDEV isn't right. It's just, I did some preliminary research and it looks like that's the right way to go, but we shall see. All right, so then how, if I'm using KDE and I want to hook this in, where do I do that? Well, the notifications, believe it or not, is how I figured out how to do this. So if I go to to configure event notifications and actions, there is a touchpad option. And so this, you know, provides all the notification, notification options like playing sounds, showing pop-ups and all of that. 
there's also a run command option. So if you look here, touchpad was disabled, run the command of this script and pass it the mouse parameter, which again is going to run I am wheel and stop gestures. And then if touchpad was enabled, do the same thing, but pass it the touchpad parameter. There, argument. Uh, yes, argument, not parameter. Anyway, so there you go. So basically what happens now is, and I'll do this, you know, while I, you can't see me, but I'll just go ahead and unplug. And you see there's actually little live input gestures feedback down there. And if I were to go to, say, website, and use my gestures. Now they're working just fine. And also my, my trackpad is running properly. And if I look and see, is I am wheel running? Nope, it's not. All right, so then let's see what happens when we plug it in. All right, the touchpad is disabled. My mouse is working. Scroll seems normal. Check I am wheel. Hey, there it is. Touchpad, I'm, I'm doing my gestures, nothing. Excellent. All right. So there you go. That's a really, maybe again, maybe not the most sophisticated way to do it, but you know, that's a solution that I came up with that I thought was worth sharing. So hopefully uh, from this video, this gives you an idea about maybe how you can do some of these things or use those things, or if you've run across this and that was annoying you, hopefully this is a, a way that you could fix it. Also, if you happen to know anything more about UDEV or if there is a better way to capture those hardware events and, and run a script, uh, run a command, leave a comment. I'd love to hear it. Uh, do a follow-up video on something like that. And lastly, this script itself, I've got posted up on uh, GitLab. So I've just got a little bash scripts and there's only one there right now, but as I continue to make videos and, and learn new things and create new scripts, I'll publish them, but I'll go ahead and link to this so that if you're interested in using this, trying this, whatever, uh, here it is. And you can also make comments and all the good collaborative things you can do on GitLab. So, all right, that's it. That's all I've got for today. I uh, appreciate you guys watching comments, suggestions, anything like that below, and uh, I will see you in the next video.